Hey people, this is the Mercenary. About a month ago, I finally got my hands on Mr. Koroka's tactical sword belt. This is the first and exclusive sword belt specifically made for katana and other Japanese style weapons, but it can also be used for other types of swords. I got this for about $55 upon this recording per unit. These are made in Japan, and I am very impressed by how oh, the sword belt is made and what it can do. When you first get the product, it comes in a little plastic box, like this one, with the business card underneath. I pulled the business card from underneath to the top so you can get a good look at who designed this product and who made it. So if you want your own, you can go to him and purchase a few if you like. When you get the sword belt off out of the box, it looks something like this. This part is for the saya or any other sheath. It's adjustable, as you can see here. It's also detachable from the sword belt, as you can see right here. And here. And it also has one, and also has a safety catch, as you can see right here. This one's already attached to the belt, so you don't have to do it yourself, which is pretty neat. There's other katana sword belts out there like it, but none of them has as a safety catch like this one, nor are well made like the one that is shown here. It also comes with an additional additional attachment for either the sheath or or the sword itself, depending on how you like to configure it. But for all intents and purposes, this is for the sheath when you need when you need to carry it upon your back. Not like what you see in the movies, but uh, quote unquote tactically. So you can pull it from your back and draw your weapon. This is practically what it looks like when you get it out of the package. Aside ain't from that, this takes about 20 to 30 minutes to Ooh, attach onto the belt. It may take more if you don't know what you're doing, but for me it took about 20 to 30 minutes. Maybe less if you really know what you're doing, but 20 to 30 minutes for me. Now, you might be wondering, what does it look like when you finally attach it on, when you finally attach a sword to it? This me. This is what it looks like when you finally attach a sword to it. The part for the saya or the sheath. The safety catch so the sword doesn't fall out of the sheath may not be completely foolproof but it's good enough of when you're when you have this swung over your shoulders and here's the part for the sheath when you want it attached to your back i can understand why this was detached in the first place because some individuals do not really want this attached to the belt itself so it's your choice whether you want to attach it or not. There's only about three, three videos on the sword belt out there. Two from Mr. Koryoka himself and one from some guy in mainland China who has tested the sword belt on and Chinese style swords. 
that video is somewhat difficult to get to, but it's there if you want to see how far how far some people have pushed the sword belt. But for all intents and purposes, this sword belt is as advertised for Japanese style swords if you need one. This is the Mercenary, and I'll be signing out.